Hush. This is a holy place. A sacred place where the visions dwell. Where the dreaming of a race began. Someone saw it has stepped here. Slept here. Knelt here. Dwelt here. Spoken fear of life and death. Of holy things. During our time together, truth will be shaped. Truth will be shifted. Truth will be shown in its many forms. All truth. One truth. So walk softly. Talk softly. Be mindful of the dreams. This place is a sacred place. Hush. Thank you very much, Denise. So again, welcome to this year's hospitality conference. And I want to first, before they leave the stage, welcome and thank my worship team. I'd like to find the same for my home minister, Denise Merlin, Carlton Elliott Smith, one of the folks on staff here. And Denise Merlin Johnson. And I represent the Jet Speaking Group Committee, as that spells Chug. And we believe we're on track. Chugging along to provide some quality programming for the district. And it is a great pleasure for me to be here today to thank first the committee and those members of the committee. Would you please stand so folks can see how many folks it takes to try to work up in the And without further ado, I will hand this over. Oh well. <laughs> May I open <hear> that? <laughs> hush, hush. These opening and closing words by Jane Newman, they offer grounding for our time together. Yesterday morning, I left my home in Parksville, Brooklyn, headed to Penn Station in Manhattan. Headed to Elizabeth, New Jersey, where I will meet my friends, Valerie and Nick, who had offered to drive me to Arlington, Virginia. They took care of me on the road. We had a grand time in the car, sharing all manner of stories. We ate, and they were so thoughtful. Well, Janice, will you be able to find something here that you can really eat? We had fun. I felt well known and enveloped in love. Well, it's right there. Hey! <laughs> Yesterday evening, Reverend Scott took us out to dinner. You know, he wanted to know what we wanted to eat. What kind of fare would we wish? We figured out we felt for Maryland Craft. <laughs> Found the right restaurant, had a lovely stroll up the spot in the evening. Went to the restaurant, had a grand time. Spoke and realized all of the connections and interconnections among the four of us. He is called the soul, another lovely soul. Again, I felt developed in love. This morning, the sun was shining with that not a gift. We got over here. The welcome here. Again, enveloped in love. So many people come to me so hard. Are you sure you need this one shot? <laughs> Here we are. I am reminded that in many 
many ways, the ways in which we make sense of our faith. Some of you came here today, I suggest, in puzzlement. Some of you enjoy in great excitement to be just going to tell us what to do. <laughs> Some of you with a calm to see how this rolled out. Some of you with a little bit of... I don't know, but I'm going to go. <laughs> however you got here, however you are here, welcome. You are here. And I'm happy that you're here. I've been reflecting on how we take all of these experiences as Unitarian Universities in particular working together for a vision of a future that holds such promise for all of us. All of us. I'm one of those who believes that all we need to build the love community is right here. Right here among us. That's my belief. It is certainly not always easy to receive a stranger, especially one quite different, quite different than we are. Much really does get in the way of that warm, outgoing welcome that we learned to give in our earliest years. We think we know what persons A, B, and C are like. Our perceptions are working. We think we know that we do not want to mingle with persons X, Y, and Z. We dare not because we know what they are like. We think we know our stereotypes, our perceptions, get in the way of the one. So my goal today is to challenge each of you to find the tools that will help you commit to welcoming, to being hospitable to all who you come to meet, all who come seeking friendship, comfort, respite, and grace. Being here with you this morning reminds me of words that bespeak hospitality, welcome, and community. We meet on holy ground, for that place is holy where we meet each other. Where lives touch, where love moves, where hope stirs. How strong is our need for one another? Our silent beckoning to our neighbors, our invitation to share life and death together. We welcome into the lives of those we meet, and they, they welcome into our own. So, what a daunting task, speaking about transformational hospitality. But by the way, welcoming change, welcoming diversity, that's a lot. And I am up to the task. <laughs> I bring you greetings today from the Unitarian Universities Association of Congregations. I bring you greetings from the UUA's Multicultural Room and Witness Staff Room. We are a staff room, each and every one of us, deeply committed to empowering Unitarian Universalist congregations and community leaders to do effective ministry in a multicultural world. And I must say that I am honored to know that the director of Multicultural World and Witness to Queen of Boston is here. Welcome. So we're brave, we 
greatly trying to understand and embrace transformation of hospitality. Let's start with hospitality. What is hospitality? I think a word or two let's hear from folks. I don't want to go all the time. What is hospitality? Do we have a microphone? Let's hear. All persons welcome. What is hospitality? I um, want you to hold all of those responses. They were good, very good. So it's clear to me that this community knows what hospitality is. So we're all there. We sang Guide My Feet during our worship. Guide my feet while I run this race. I don't want to run this race in vain. We actually cannot afford to run this race in vain. What, what does it mean? I want you to just think about it for a minute. Guide my feet. I don't want to run this race in vain. When we say that line, that verse, are we feeling what we're really saying? Are what we're really saying? I don't want to run this race in vain. We need one another to run the race together and to be committed to staying the course as we run the race. 